Hi Uptown Kids, I hope you're all well and I hope you're excited about getting towards the end of term. Not long now until those wonderful summer holidays and of course our holiday club here at The Forge. I'm looking forward to seeing lots of you there for Into the Unknown. Okay, this month in Uptown Kids, we're continuing our Ready, Set, Move series that we began last month, where we were exploring faith by learning about some of those um, early le leaders of the church. We heard about Paul and Ananias and of course, Peter. I wonder if you can remember how we defined faith. We said, Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Well, this month we're going to learn more about the life of Paul and how he demonstrated faith in God, even in some pretty tricky situations. This first week, we're going to hear how Paul wrote to a church in a place called Ephesus, encouraging them and reminding them that they couldn't earn God's love and grace, but that salvation, forgiveness and relationship with God is only through Jesus. But the great news is that he had for them is still that Jesus loves everyone. It's still true today. In fact, it's our bottom line for this week. Jesus is a gift for everyone. But before we dive into hearing more about Paul and his faith, we're going to sing our new song. It's called Moving Me and it talks about how we can be moved by the love of God and how his love and grace have set us free. It fits with our themes so well. So let's try and sing along and play the instruments and maybe even a dance a little to Moving Me.
Great singing, everybody. Well done. Okay, let's sit ourselves down and settle down as we join John, Brandon and Kelly, Kellen now. And here's some more about Paul and that letter to the Ephesians. And this reminder that we were speaking about earlier, that Jesus is a gift for everyone. Let's watch the so-and-so show. I'm Brandon and, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. Okay, John, let me ask your opinion about something. I don't like that shirt. I want to, no, not about my shirt. Oh. I, you don't like my shirt? What I was going to say was, we've gone on a lot of trips so far this summer. Oh, yes, we have. Where do you think we should go next? Uh, oh, horseback riding through the Canadian Rockies with a French guy who only speaks German while playing the banjo. Uh, no. Oh. That was last Thursday. Somewhere we haven't gone. Oh, a Jurassic Park! Not a real place. Narnia! John! Okay, there's so many places to choose from. No. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's check out our trip jar to see what we can afford. That'll oh, help us narrow down the options. Good there. idea. All right, see? Trip jar. Whoa, that right. feels heavy. Really? Yeah. That's real metal. Let's see here. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. So to fund our next trip, we've got 47 cents and some tokens from Porky's Pizza Palace and Arcade and two coupons for 50% off a car wash. So uh, not enough for a trip. We go on a car wash? Or we could stay here and welcome someone who knows stuff. Ooh. All right. Hey. Too long. Chair for you. Here, let me clean this up for you. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Oh, great. So good to see you again. Hey, Ryan, good to have you back. Uh, for those who haven't met you, tell us who you are and what you know. Oh, uh, well, my name's Ryan, and I'm an animal expert. I travel all around the world studying, learning about animals. Oh, and something you may not know about me I'm Australian. Really? No idea. Too right. I brought me boomer and everything. Oh, you did? Oh, oh. whoa! That's that's great, isn't it? Supposed to uh, come back or? Most of the time. Hmm. Well, what are we doing sitting here on our bums? A little birdie told me that you two like to travel. So are you ready to go on an adventure? Uh, uh, sorry, Ryan. We can't really afford to go on any trips right <laughs> no, now. No, no, you don't have to. This adventure's an all-expense-paid trip by me. It's my gift to you. Oh, oh wow, that's Let's really great. Let's go. Oh, okay. I mean, come on, mate. Okay. Think they got car washes where we're going? Uh, maybe. Did we really need to fly around the world to get to my backyard? Hide! Oof. Don't make a sound. There's wild animals all over the place. Oh, like right over there. That's a remarkable specimen of the long-tailed mouse catcher. Isn't that your neighbor's cat? Yeah, that's Miss Fancy Feet. <laughs> Dead on you, she's magnificent. She's majestic! She's ferocious! <laughs> I never really thought about it, but she really is quite beautiful. Oh! Look over there! I didn't think I'd be able to show you one of these today! <laughs> That's the Grey Acorn Scavenger! Just a beaut! Oh, it's a cute little squirrel! <laughs> oh, what a little corker! Now, did you know that trees need squirrels to make more trees? What? Yes, it's true! They count on the squirrels to hide the acorns and then forget where they hid them. And then they have trees growing further away instead of right underneath itself. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, yep. oh it gets a lot cooler. <gasps> a cricket. A kitey did. A brown thrasher. A ladybug. An elephant. Oh, <laughs> chick. So many a 
adventures to find right in your own backyard. So what'd you think, mate? Uh, that, that was amazing, Ryan. Thank you so much. How can we ever repay you? Oh, it was my pleasure. Yeah, this may be my favorite trip so far. Wow, well, yeah, me too. It was fun, but but Narnia would have been better. Oh. 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 What do you know? It came back. Told you. You can keep that as a gift too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right there. There you go, mm -hmm. mate. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh, banana. Hey fellas, hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Now, I have to give it up to Ryan. She set up today's story perfectly. Oh, is today's story about hitting people in the head with boomerangs? No, but it is about gifts, and the gifts you can't repay. Alrighty then, take it away. Okay, quick setup. Today's story is actually just two verses, and it comes from the book of Ephesians, which is a letter written by Paul to new Jesus followers in the city of Ephesus. Now, back then, a lot of people believed that you had to follow a ton of rules to make yourself right with God. And if you didn't follow those rules, you had to pay for all the rules you broke. Then, of course, Jesus came along and changed everything. This is what Paul wrote. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Okay, that's a lot, but it's really, really amazing. Let's talk about the word salvation, okay? What exactly is that? Now that is a good question. What is happening? Sit back and relax, Kellen, because boy oh boy do I have a deal for you. Looney Larry here with an offer of a lifetime. Looney Larry has absolutely no authority to make this offer. Have you done bad things in your life? Cheated on a test? Lied to your parents? Or even picked on your little sister? No worries. With salvation, all of your problems are taken care of. And now, for the low, low price of $777,000.99, salvation can be yours. Would I lie? No, 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 no. That is whatever that is. That is not what salvation is or how salvation works. Now, it's true. We've all done wrong things or sinned, and there is a price. But salvation comes because Jesus died on the cross to pay that price for us, so we no longer have to. You drive a pretty hard bargain there, Kellen. Well, I'm not- For today only, you can get salvation for the special loony price of just two low, low payments of $388,500 49 and a half cents. Would I lie? No. It costs no money. No money. It is free. It <laughs> Let it be known that Looney Larry is not afraid to haggle. If you act now, you can get salvation for the price of one large donation to a charity. Or saying your prayers or just helping an old lady across the street. Larry, no. Salvation isn't something you get by earning it. Remember what Paul wrote. Salvation is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done, and no one can brag about earning it. <laughs> but you can have it. Would I lie? Okay, okay, I think that's enough of Looney Larry. Get out of here. But he was not lying about one thing. Salvation is something you can have. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Jesus. That's it. It's free. And that's true no matter who you are or what rules you've broken. What do you think, fellas? You know, 
it is easy to try and, and prove yourself to God, you know, like you're checking things off of a list, you know, going to church, check. Yeah, I prayed, was patient, and said I was sorry today, check, check, and double check. Mm -hmm. And those things aren't bad things. You should do those things, but none of them can earn you salvation. Jesus took care of all of that for you. It's faith in Jesus that saves you. Well said. And with that, my work here is done. I'll see you next time. Well, Brandon, we had one very unexpected show today. I know, we got a really special gift from Ryan that we didn't earn, yeah. and we learned that God's gift of salvation is absolutely free too. Yeah, totally unexpected. Mm -hmm. Ah, no one even threw it! Reveal the question. How do you feel when you get a gift? Oh, I, I love gifts. The excitement, the anticipation. Yeah, it makes me feel special when someone gives me a gift. Like, I, I really matter to them. Yeah. yeah, what about you? How do you feel when you get a gift? Was that elephant in your backyard a gift? No, I have never seen that elephant in my life before. Oh, weird. It's inside. Run! No! <laughs> Where? I don't know! Just run in general! Serpentine! Uh, okay. Okay, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. really sure? I think I've got it this time. Okay. Boomerang's coming back. Maybe we should stop. Yeah. Ow! I'm not scared. Run! That's great. Let's think about that big question that they threw out there. How do you feel when you get a gift? Why don't you talk to a partner just for a minute before we share our answers together? How do you feel when you receive a gift? Pause the video, have a chat. Great work everyone. Who doesn't love a gift makes us feel good doesn't it now we've got a great memory verse that if we learn it and know it then we can use it all of our lives to remind us that what Jesus has done and how he has made a way for us to be in relationship with God so it's from a book in the Bible called Ephesians in the New Testament Kellen actually read it earlier in the so-and-so show it says this God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2 verse 8. Let's say it together, shall we? God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2 verse 8. So why don't you look in your Bibles and find it and highlight it and just use it as something to go back to and read over and over. Pause the video so that you can find the verse in your Bible. Great work everyone and take it home today on the cards that we give you and stick it somewhere, somewhere where you'll see it all week and you can learn it and practice it at home. Don't forget there's a raffle tickets for those people that can remember our memory verse. Well done. Okay. We'll continue our Ready, Set, Move series next week. But for now, if you're here with us at Debenham, then we've got activities and crafts. If you're joining us online, we hope that we'll see you next week. But before we go, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you and your forgiveness and your love are free and available to everyone. We can't earn them. We recognise the price you paid, Jesus, was huge. You gave your life. And we're so grateful that that means we can be friends with God. That's amazing. Thank you. Amen. See you next week, everyone. Bye.